and we trust you've had a wonderful week as we draw closer to Christmas Day, getting ready to celebrate Jesus with family and friends and our church communities. This week, we've been responding to that simple question, do we still need Christmas? And I want to bring our attention to this fact that when we celebrate Christmas, not only are we looking back to Christ's first coming, born in a very humble, simple way, in a major, but we're also recognizing that this Jesus is the one who is to come. He is coming back as king. He's coming back to take us to the Father's house. He's coming back to set things in order. Jesus said in John 14 verses 1 through 4, He said, let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you, I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you to myself, that where I am, there you may be also. And the way and where I go, you know, and the way you know. So what did Jesus say? He said, look, I'm going to my father's house. He said, if I go and I prepare a place for you, I will come again and I will receive you to myself. So Christmas is a time not only of celebrating the, the fact that Christ came into this world, but it's a way for us to remember and to recognize that He is coming again because we are celebrating somebody who is alive, who is a living, and that we are expecting His return. He's coming to take us to the Father's house for a great union with Him, with all the saints who have gone on before us, and with the Father Himself. Do we still need Christmas? Do we still need to look for the coming King? Do we still need to live with expectation of His return? Do we still need to recognize that He's coming to take us back, take us to the Father's house? Yes, we do. So we still celebrate Christmas. Not only recognizing that He came, but that He is coming again. So as we celebrate Christmas, not only look back, but look ahead. He's coming to take us to the Father's house. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, we celebrate you. We celebrate your birth. We celebrate all that you did for us through your death, burial, and resurrection. We celebrate you as King, as Lord today. And we acknowledge, Lord, that you are coming to take us to the Father's house. May each and every family member, every member of our household, every member of our extended family, be there, Lord, in your presence, in the Father's house. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.